Good morning and it is actually a really good morning this morning because I'm back in the bog as you can see here is my normal terrain that's not quite true it's actually not that bad this is just one little spring that we found in the middle of the bog and you did hear me use the word we because I'm going to go this way because the sun is in the eyes always I am joined today by Pork. say hello Pork. Hi there how are you? So Pork's a friend of mine from home uh, we met a few weeks ago doing a coaching course and uh, he has been in touch with me since I left, probably since I left Cork and said he was going to come out with me for a day. So he showed up this morning and it's absolutely deadly to have company because I am back in the bog. Um, you're going to get a bit blinded by the sun for a second but over here behind Pork you'll see our next marker. Uh, it's way in the distance there but uh, we can see it just here in the corner. We're going to be cutting across uh, towards the forest over here in the side um, of the bog. Nothing around us, just open fields, really warm sunshine actually for the middle of January. The weather, touch wood, been absolutely blessed with the weather for the last two weeks. Uh, apart from the two days of snow, which really weren't that bad. Um, so yeah, we get back up onto a road and then we kind of skirt around the trees before heading right into the middle of it, I believe. Um, around the village of Ahaskra. I'm going to have to see if Monica, what was her name? Monica Ludi, Luby, Looney? Remember, don't feed the buzzcocks, or don't feed the gondolas. No, that reference is lost on Pork. But anyone who ever watched that Sean Moncrief show, don't feed the gondolas, where he pretended at the end of it every episode that he was somebody from a, a, an old woman from a Haskara in County Galway. It's the only reason any of us knew where a Haskara was. So we're actually going to go be in a Haskara today. So anyway, going to sign off. We'll catch up with you later on. So Pork is uh, walking across the stile. Alright. So Pork, you walking across the stile there, are you? Yeah. I just, I'm just going to walk around the fence because there's this... <laughs> <laughs> so this is the road. As you can see, that's the path the whole way up. Uh, so we're in the bog off to the side, but that's not a whole pile better. Let me just show you. Just going the whole way down into the bog. So yeah, every three or four meters you're basically having to jump across a little weakness in the bog. It's beautiful though, but uh, treacherous. Literally seconds after we turned off the camera, uh, Podrick decided he was going to take a step across the drain, but he forgot the drain was there, even though we just literally crossed it a minute or two earlier. And he's now sporting a beautiful uh, dual color pair of uh, trousers uh, thanks to the muck and dirt that managed to creep into his uh, into his uh, trousers over the boots uh, thankfully the um, the route is pretty dry from here on in but we're still in the middle of a bog to either side of us and I think uh, we're both comparing notes about our mother's fears about bog holes and after both of us nearly disappearing into one a minute ago, we may try and stick to the road where that's possible for the next few hours. Because I think we're going to be in the bog for more or less the next hour at least. Ahaskara is about two kilometers to the north, but we're skirting around the town and we'll be keeping to the way, uh, which is fun and disastrous. All at the same time. Talk to you later. Found a bench. I'm so happy that I'm actually going to sit down and take a break. And it's absolutely beautiful. I'm in the middle of the bog, and Pork very kindly is uh, holding the camera. I just want to sit down and take a breather because it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm wrecked. But uh, after Pork got a soaking, I think it's time for him to take a break too. Pork. Grab a pew, turn off that camera. So this is what you call the black sheep of the family. Stuck on the wrong side of the fence. Not quite sure how to get back to his buddies. Look at him, poor little sucker. Completely lost. It's ridiculous how many sheep there are around here. Absolutely ridiculous. They're just sheep everywhere. Kind of feels like we're back in New Zealand for some reason. This guy wants, really wants to say hello. And of course, what happens when one sheep comes? They all start wanting to come. No, they all stop now. 
I'm lying on what feels almost like my bed at this point. It's my third night in Ockram. I haven't stayed here the night before I arrived. The night I was actually in town. And the night that I... And tonight. So I, I finished up just outside of Haskell. Uh, just around the, the kind of the west side of Haskell. On the way to Ballygar, which is my target for tomorrow. And I'm back in Ockram. Because Valerie's in Ockram is the spot. It's got accommodation, it's got food, it's got showers, it's got everything you want, all at a very reasonable price. And uh, I didn't really have a choice but to come back, just because there's nothing else really in that's suitable uh, further along the trail. So, um, thankfully, a uh, local man, uh, very, very kindly, Frank, very, very kindly came and picked me up and brought me back. And he's been involved in building and promoting um, aspects of the Hymeny Way along the route. And so... Um, tomorrow I'm going back, he's collecting me again in the morning and bring me back out towards um, Fahana, which is where he's from. And then I'll head on from there to Ballygar and on north towards the Roscommon border and on to Sligo and eventually Leitrim. Um, great day today, uh, having Podrick with me was fantastic. It was just uh, nice to have company and to have conversation and it really took the day out of it. Him falling into a bog hole was probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Uh, he didn't fall too badly into it, so it wasn't too bad, but it was funny. Uh, lots of animals and sheep, and a bit of litter again today. Uh, very disappointing to see that. Still not too many bodies out on the trail. Uh, we did meet one guy out walking his dog, which is kind of almost a daily occurrence. There's always somebody out walking a dog. But yeah, uh, so, uh, as you can see, I'm quite tired. So, just eating, about to jump in the shower, and then it is time for sleeps. And uh, another long day tomorrow. Body sore, body's tired, uh, but still feeling pretty good. Still really enthusiastic about the whole project. And more importantly, edging myself closer to home. It's uh, 80 something kilometers in a straight line. But as we found it out in the Bear of Refinery Way, nothing's ever in a straight line. Anyway, uh, talk to you tomorrow.